Alrighty, folks, let's jump right into the forecast right now across the northeastern portion of the United States. Taking a look at the infrared satellite imagery, you can see we have a lot going on off to our west, and MCS is diving across southern Ontario, ready to make its... Uh, uh, presence felt here in western New York, so watch out from Buffalo to Rochester, even back towards further south in Pittsburgh, some thunderstorms heading in your direction this evening. Further east from Burlington to Albany to New York, I expect they'll weaken by the time they reach you. But to the northwest, we've got a cold front. Tomorrow, we're going to be cranking those southwest winds, and that is a great, great, great environment for thunderstorms. And that is what we are about to talk about. So, let's take a look at uh, tomorrow's forecast. We're looking at a cold front coming through, bringing cooler air. But ahead of it, we're seeing warming southwest winds. That's going to crank up the instability and crank up the temperatures. 88 Washington, 81 New York, and 92 in Richmond. However, uh, while we're cranking up the instability, you think, Nick, south winds. For a real weather geek, you'd realize that for a lot of spots, that would bring uh, uh, stabilizing air off the ocean. But the case is, it actually will be bringing stabilizing air off the ocean. So, from... Uh, I'd say anywhere from like central Long Island back towards eastern Connecticut, uh, you know, from Bot and even Boston, Portland, Bangor, Maine, marine layer going to be in effect. We can't see exactly where it's going to set up, but where it does set up, the storms will weaken rapidly once they hit it and to points east of it with that sea breeze effect. But to the west, you're seeing the cold front coming through, sparking Cape 1 to 2,000 joules per kilogram, minus 4 to minus 6 lifted index. Pretty good uh, event uh, for uh, severe thunderstorms. Also, uh, let's just take a look at the map here. Also, um, the dangers for tomorrow, big hailstones, a few tornadoes possible. I mean, the helicity is good, the shear is good, but, you know, the storms won't be that strong. I'm not looking for supercell development, so... I'm not overly worried about tornadoes, but tornado warnings are likely. Also, strong damaging winds. A big threat for tomorrow. So uh, I guess that's just what we're looking at right now. The SPC boys have posted a slight risk for 15% for from Baltimore, Washington, all the way back up through the northern mid-Atlantic. You can see it on the map here. Western New England again, but look at where that marine layer, eastern Connecticut, from Boston to Portland, back through Bangor, a lot of Maine, that is where there will be less instability to spark off these storms. But, you know, very similar to where the uh, storms were bad last last time on, uh, when was it? It was Friday. Yeah, that it will be a lot like that. So just, just be on guard here and uh, stay tuned. Um, stay tuned to Stormtopia and stay tuned to our Twitter feed. Um, right on the lower corner of your screen. Alright, that's it for now, folks. Thanks for checking in, and stay safe out there.